Okay, hi everyone. Um, so today I will be testing uh, the new Trial of Anubis, um, which is in my Egypt series. Uh, so if you don't know this game, it's basically uh, you're trying to fulfill the commandments of a god uh, in ancient Egypt and you're a pharaoh and you want to make the land prosperous again. So what you do is that you will start out in this little village and we have some stuff that keeps on... Um, you're basically expanding this village. Um, so if you want to um, if you want to see what, what else I have made, just look in the previous video where I tried the trial of... Um, I think it was Osiris? No, trial of Ra. Um, uh, and that is like miles different than this, than this one. All right, uh, let me just explain a few concepts uh, from, from this game. So we have a cage, uh, which is uh, the bottom one. Let me just draw so you can see what I'm doing. It's that one. Uh, the cage, um, when you have, uh, each cage will have a number, basically. So if we look at this cage right here, it has the number eight. So I want to put numbers in that cage that is equal or higher to the number given by the cage. Then we have a ph phenometer, uh, which to unlock the ability uh, below, like right here, place a symbol next to an obelisk, I will have to place in numbers in an ascending order going from the, the big circle and up to the, the point end. Um, then we have Locust, which is a new thing to this, um, which will spawn on the map. I'll tell you how that, uh, they will spawn later. Uh, then we have a greater than symbol, which means to unlock this symbol, I need to have placed numbers here that uh, correlates to this number being the lower one and this number being the higher one. What the numbers are depends on the role. All right, I think we should just get on playing. So what we're doing now is that we will have to use some offering dice. So you can see on the right hand side, we only have two offerings available and we can only use them four times. So it's quite, quite restricted. So let's just roll two dice. And I was quite lucky to get two ones. All right, then we should just start playing. Uh, so what we do straight away is that we want to have some roll two dice and wherever we, we activate a row, we will write, we will draw a palm leaf. So roll a six. Let's see, let's draw a palm leaf here. So what, oh not palm leaf, like a palm. So what we can use that for in this game is to basically, um, when we have a palm tree on the map, I can use the greater than symbols over here to place another village on the map. Um, and I should uh, just quickly mention the commandments of Anubis. So for we get five points for every two village next to a date farm. We get one point for each village connected to a temple. That's similar to uh, the trial of Ra. Then we get minus five points for every date farm next to a locust. And then we get five points if I have an obelisk next on the list. All right, so this is what we're going to do. So right now, let's see, we want to go, that's the big money maker, I think. Oh, we could place a temple down. Now let's see, we rolled a two and a four, so we could do like, uh, we don't have any locusts, so that would be stupid to fill this in right now. But that is six, so we can do... Uh, let's do four, two and four, and that could be four, five, six. Oh, that, that needs to be a six or higher. Okay. Um, so we won't get a temple from that one. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, we can do... Oh, so let me, it can be this. 
because it is this box I need to refer to, meaning that I get a six. Uh, so I now have a temple to place, and we really want a temple next to a village uh, and connected via road. And as you already see, the village in the beginning has two roads um, going out from it already. So let's just draw a temple here, like so. All right, let's roll again. I got five. Uh, in the previous trial, I needed to have double of palm leaves. I don't uh, have to do that now. I can just place palm leaves wherever I want to spread out like so to make this more uh, viable, I guess. So now we have a three and a two, which, you know what, we'll just do like this. So we got village, which we will play. So that one I will reserve as we get up close up here. So let's see what we can do. I think I'll do like this. So now we have a village here, small village, and we will roll again. And I got an eight. So we will have something like this here. And let's see, we really want two villages adjacent to a date farm. So that temple was really not that good to place there, but we could place a date farm up here and surround it with villages. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, I have a three and a five, which actually gives me two date farms. But the question is if I want that, because placing them down already could limit us. So I'll, I think I'll place it in these two, three, let's just do like so, five. Uh, so that was one. And let's have it being here. Let's draw a couple more. Like so. Okay. Now we roll again. Roll eight again. Okay. So really want to have some more connected to that temple. So see, we haven't rolled a locust yet. So let me just explain how that works. So when I roll a seven, I need to place a locust adjacent to a village. Where this locust is, is up to me. And if all, um, if all, like if I had something here, here and here, I couldn't draw a locust and I won't have to. Um, but if one spot is available, I have to draw a locust. Um, and wherever that locust is, I cannot place any more feature on that. So. I cannot draw like a village or an obelisk on top of a locust. That basically takes up an area. But I have rolled a six and a two. So let's see, we should get some more over here. So let's start, let's not actually stupid right here. Six and a two gives us a village. And let's surround this. right here, like so. So that was the six and a two. We haven't had use of our offering yet. We could use it to store the two, but we only have four, so they're quite precious. I rolled a three, a two and a one. So this one seems obvious. Okay, let's see. A 
2 and a 1, that's not good. But I could, I just want to say, I could use something over here. Let me just see an obelisk, but I need to have some locust before that is. So I can say a two and a one. So that one, two is higher than one, but it kind of gets tricky with that one. Uh, so I can place a palm tree on the map. Uh, it didn't provide any rows. So I will place a palm tree. Let's place a palm tree here. All right, roll again. I got a nine this time. So let's just keep on spending along the river here. Um, let's see what we want to do. Let's connect the temple. So I have nine, which I could do like this. Six, three, I'm above that. Rules out that one. Let's connect that one there. So that's two points connected to the temple. Roll again. And I got a seven this time. So let, let me show you how this works. So I have some more options now, basically, because I have placed the village up here, which have a lot of open ends. So let me just place the locust down. So in, I really want it to be placed next to an obelisk and not next to a date farm. So I think we will do it like right here. So we'll have the locust. Like so, give it a pointy end. Some antlers. Um, so now we have a locust there, and we could try to. Okay, let's see if we can get an obelisk next to it. That could be awesome. So I could place. Oh, we can actually do this. So I can place a five here, which could be good. I can place a two there, which gives us an obelisk. And I don't have any more numbers, but basically it will give me one point when I fill in this one. And it kind of really needs a one. So when, if I roll a one and a six, it would be perfect for this one. Got an obelisk. So obelisk really likes locust. So let's just play an obelisk right here. Some scribbles on it. All right, um, so let's see what we roll. And we roll a free again, huh? all those frees. But we need to, a free is in this line up here. Okay, we'll just do like so. Okay, and then we will need to place a 1 and a 2 somewhere. We could place that down here. Let's do 1 and a 2, and we will get that to place a 4 in a different feature. Uh, these big white squares, I call them features. Um, so let's see, we could do like place a six here, which gives us place a temple next to a locust. And then we could place a temple, what do we need temple for? We need them connected to a road next to a town. We'll do like so, connect that one. Okay, let's roll again. A one and a two again. That's that's not really that great. But let's see. We could. Hmm. 
one and a two. Let's see if we can place it somewhere. We can place it two there, but it kind of screws us over on the other ones. One, two, that gives us seven. That's not good enough. One, two up here. See what we can do. Place a one here. Gives us one point. Let's just do this one and then place a two here. Um, gives us one point in the end. I need to delete this. Me. I don't need to do that. Um, yeah, I need to do. So never mind these arc symbols, it will be deleted. Okay. Um, so that was one and a two. We got a six, a four and a two. So we could do it like this. So I really want to place a four. And a two. So, ah, it needed two palm trees. Uh, okay. So not yet. We just need to have some places with two palm trees. So four and a two, we could oh we can do it like this. So four two. We could do it like so. Um, all right, roll again. Got two fours, that's an eight. Let's do some more clustered together now. Uh, so we have two fours. Gives us a village. So I'm kind of reserving those. Let's just add a village here. I want to connect it to a road. Also, oh, I need to remember that I need them to surround a date farm, basically. A nine, so let's see. Nine is that one down here? Let's just do it like so. Four and a five. Like this. Four. Then we can place one here. Makes sense. Both adjacent to that. And the other one. So that was the ability triggered. I didn't complete any boxes, so I didn't have to cross out one of these. Okay, let's see, that was a six. Oh, we can do here. Okay, let's see, four and a two. Okay, can use a four and a two. All right, we need to really, really need to get those state farms going. So four, two. That's one date palm farm, and we wanted to place it adjacent to village. Alright, that is obviously dick palms as you can see. Um, let's roll again. We got a six this time. So the question is if I should store the six, but let's let's see. Um, ten. Let me just do one here. So let's see if I can use a one somewhere. I can use a one up here. No. Uh, uh, a one is quite tricky with this one because it needs a high number. 
So let's see, six. We also have a four. So four, one. Oh, let's do that. Use an offering. Store the six. Get a one. Place. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh, anyway, do it like this. Uh, one, four. We're above nine now, which gives us an obelisk. And we can place that next to the locust. And place it. Let's place it over here. All right. Let's roll again. So we got a five and a six this time. Uh, that's eleven. Let's just do one here. Okay, five and a six, quite high numbers. We could do five. That needs to be lower, so that was that needs a four basically. But I got one village. I will play that here. So that was the five and I need to place the six as well. Let's do it over here. So I only have three more villages to place. We will place that one here. Okay. Let's keep on rolling. Uh, two ones. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, let's see if we can manage to do something with those. Um, oh, good grief. Two ones. What can I do with two ones? I could place a one there. No, it gives us nothing. Oh. I'll use the six again. So this becomes a one and I have a six over here. So now we, now we can do some more stuff. We could connect the road and do like one and six. We're above 10, gives us road. Let's connect this one to the temple. Oops. So five and a one, got a six. Let's do here. Okay. Five and one. And where do we want to put that? Uh, we could put it next to the obelisk, but the locust is almost completely. So, oh, we could actually put one up here. Yeah, let's do the obelisk then. So five and a one. So place a one here. We didn't get a point because I screwed that one over. And a five, so that's another obelisk for us. Adjacent to that one. Okay. Roll again, we got a five. A four and a one, so that's five. Could a four and a one, which means that we basically do something like this, and we got a village again. We got we actually got two villages, uh, so we can place one where there are two palm trees, and we can place a village uh, at our own leisure. So let's just place. Uh, okay, we need we need some stuff going on down here. Let's place a village. Here then. Okay, that was both of those. We got an eight, a five, and a three. So let's just make sure the 
go like this. can't be a free because then that would be weird this could be a free so we got we got one date pump on uh, I will play that one place that one down here like so okay roll again This time a six and a two. So we'll just be placing stuff like this. Okay, let's see. What could we do with an eight? Uh, excuse me, a six and a two. We could do like this. And like this. And now we have a temple which needs to be connected to via road. So let's just place the temple right here. Right next to the palm. Right now we need some roads. And I got a seven. So we need to draw a locus next to a village. Question is where? So let me just give you the option. So there. There, 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 actually right here and there. So what would be the best one for us? I think one of these three. Let me just grab that color again. Okay. Let's just do it here because we really don't want them next to, next to the uh, date farm. So let's just place them right here. Could surround it with obelisks as well. Seems to be a good strategy. Okay, we've got a five and a two now. So we could place the two here, giving us one. I'll place one there. So that was one. Okay, never mind the Ankh because I need to remove that. So that was one obelisk. Place it adjacent to that one. Okay, let's roll again. And we got a an eight. We got a two fours this time. So like so. Two fours basically means that could we uh, we needed it we needed a six over here. We could actually do something over here. We can do it like this. Yeah, that could work. So that was one obelisk more. So this is really obelisk land. another number oh, we got a seven again that's not good but we could use it to our advantage so we can't extend with this we can only extend we are uh, with our own features so but we could place a locus right here Like so. Got a six and a one, and we really wanted to use the six right here, and the one we could place that right here. So that was that completed, which gives us another obelisk to place, and of course we will place it next to a locust. Like so. Okay. Next roll. So we got a four and a three, and that's a seven again. 
They really do spawn now, those locusts. Okay, let's see what we can do. We really don't want them down here. So let's just fill in this. Four and three. We could use that for the obelisk. Four and three. That won't give us an obelisk, but it gives us one point. That needs to be a six. I can get that one four. That was one obelisk. And let's just place it here. Blocking on off any more spawns. Not completely, but they don't. They can't spawn here then. Um, and then we have a free that we also need to place up here. Let's place it there. All right. Six and a five, which gives us eleven. So now, should we make more roads? Or should we? Do it like this. Uh, okay, we do a five and a six like this. That gives us an eight, which is a palm farm. Uh, okay, I didn't think f enough. Let's just let's just place it here. And that one gives us a four to place in a different feature. And we could do like, yeah, let's place a four right. Here, a five, no, let's place a five here. Means we have, we can, we can do more with that number. All right. A six, that was almost a seven. Uh, six, let's just place a pawn right here. A one and a five. Do one, that was one village right here. I want to place the five now. So let's just place it here, I'm guessing. Two and a one gives us three. Okay, let's see. Two and a one. It's not the high numbers that we hoped for. Can't do anything there. We can do. Palm trees are not that important now because I, I cannot get any more points from it. Um, we could do. We have two and one. So what I'm thinking is that I wanna I wanna have more villages, but I don't have I can use more roads as well. But I only have two and a one. So I need to get rid of them somehow. So let let's do it like this. Two and a one. So that unlocked that one. Uh, and I can place a palm leaf tree right here. Okay. So let's roll again. We've got a four this time, three and a one. So let's just place it here. Okay, three and a one. What can we do with the three? Okay. I see something, but temples are only good if we can connect it. Uh, with a road to a village. 
but right now there's three right here but then I have to place a one somewhere else oh we can do like this three but I need to place a one then so that sucked uh, can't do it here let's just use this to trash stuff three one and I roll the three and the one again that was great let's just see if there are yeah no, four three and a one couldn't use it before couldn't use it now three one let's just do one up here so that is not enough to give us the last village so come on guys two sixes we can use that that's 12 two sixes what should we use all those dice all those numbers for we could get some date palms but have enough of those we could do the village thing and let's just do it like this so we can do two sixes give us the last village to place so that one scores one so that it needs another one here like this so that's five five okay let's get a high number again and we got an eight six and a two that was great as well so let's just play something here all right let's see six and a two could place an obelisk down but that would mean that we will end the game but i think that's all right so let's place a six and a two here i'm getting so that was the last one when you have filled in two of the five features either uh, complete numbers like if i couldn't draw more numbers here or if that one was filled um then the game stops all right so let's just place in the last obelisk place it here go, go, go. like this okay let's game get to scoring five points for every two village a date adjacent to a date farm all right that's five let's just do red numbers for fun five this one is five this one is five. That one is five. That one is five. That's one, one, one. All right, so it's five points, five points, five, 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 five 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 let's see if that was everything i guess it was so let's see this is 10 13 uh 20 5 10 15 20 uh, 25 30 so that's 50, 63, 73 points, like so, and we completed the game. Um, so if you want to play, uh, I'll have some uh, a link down below that you can use it. Uh, you can get the game via the link, basically. So thank you for watching.